Well, a new colorful work of art will soon be in one of Albuquerque's most diverse neighborhoods. The local organization is painting a mural that will use augmented reality to promote gun violence prevention. News 13's Jessica Barone gives us a look. You can take the ugliest wall and put something beautiful there and, and, and it automatically makes people feel great. A local organization is blending the arts and social activism with a new mural. New Mexicans to Prevent Gun Violence is leading the project meant to highlight gun violence prevention. It's called Berkey Cares, but unlike other murals... But what's exciting about this one is that it's going to be augmented reality, so that means it'll um, come alive on your phone. Located in the parking lot of Juan Pedro Library in the International District, the mural has been three years in the making. When people use their phones, different portions of the mural will offer interactive links that educate the user on gun violence prevention, as well as victims' names. Over here, the, all of these faces will be, will be blacked out and the ticker of names and dates will actually start scrolling and the way that people are actually going to be able to see is through their phone camera. The organization says workshops for youth will be hosted at the library starting in January. The first part of those workshops will include a visit to the mural. It's one thing to sit in a classroom or sit in a discussion in, an, uh, in a room and hear about the issues, but to use art to inspire and discuss the issue is a whole different level of engaging community. The organization says they hope this mural will remind people about the dangers surrounding guns. Too many kids are dying, too many people are dying, and we need more projects like this throughout this city um, so that we can really have conversations about not pulling those triggers to solve personal disputes. Jessica Barron, KRQE News 13. The mural will be completed by the end of the month. An official unveiling event will be hosted in November.